Are you getting low FPS in Minecraft? Are there insane lag spikes that you would love to fix? Then be sure to stick around till the end of this video because in this one, I'm gonna be giving you the best tips, the best video settings for Minecraft to get the most FPS. The first step I want to take is, of course, allocate more RAM to Minecraft. Now, you may think to yourself, allocate more RAM to Minecraft, how does that even work? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, to allocate more RAM to Minecraft, what you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, go over to installations right here, select the version that you would like to optimize in play, which is going to be 1.19.4. Go over to the three little dots right here and click edit. What you want to do is click more options right here, scroll down a little until you see this thing that says JVM arguments, and then you have to check the argument XMX and then a number. So if you have 8 gigs in your system, you can increase this number to 4G. If you have even more, you can go all the way up to 6, but anything beyond that won't really make a difference. If you now click save, that's literally it. You have just allocated so much more RAM to Minecraft. So before we boot up Minecraft and optimize the settings inside of Minecraft, I just want to let you know that a card will pop up in the top right corner right now, which will teach you how to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.19.3 and 1.19.4. Now, whilst it may seem very logical to do this, you should disable any shaders, any texture packs, or any small mods that you may have enabled in Minecraft, because they do have a significant performance impact that goes even for the most minimalist texture packs. So go check your texture packs, disable any that you may have enabled. Also make sure you're not running any shaders, not even low end shaders. If you do really want to use shaders, then be sure to check out the video that will pop up in the top right corner right now, which will show you some of the best low end shaders for Minecraft 1.9. 19.4. And now we've come to the most important part of this video, in my opinion that is, and that is Minecraft's video settings, which are very easy to optimize, but many people have no idea what all these settings means. There's so many buttons, which ones do you change? Which ones do you just not even touch, not even mess with? I'm gonna tell you right now, and we're gonna go through this as quickly as possible, because like I said, there's quite some settings, and we just wanna get the best FPS and get back to play in Minecraft. So the first thing you do is the full screen resolution, but that is actually something I would use as the last resort. If after changing all of these settings, you still can't play Minecraft, what you can do is set this to something very, very low, like 640 by 480, and then set Minecraft to full screen. I'm already running it in full screen, and what this will do is change the entire resolution to something extremely low. For now, we're just gonna hope that the rest of the optimizations are gonna do their job. So what we're gonna do is turn buy and blend all the way down to off and it will tell you that this is the fastest option. Graphics is very straightforward. You wanna set it to fast, speaks for itself. Then the chunk builder, this is more complicated and I'm not gonna explain exactly what it does, but fully blackened is the one that takes the most performance. If you set it to threaded, it might just take a bit longer for some blocks to update, but that doesn't really matter because it won't give you any hiccups in game. Set smooth lighting to off. V-Sync is a setting that you only should enable if you want to get the exact FPS that your monitor can run at. Only if you get over 60 and you want it to 60, for example, turn this on. Max frame rate right here, it is related to that. If you set this to something low, you'll never get more than 30 FPS. So you wanna set that to unlimited. The GUI scale is just up to you. It can be very big or tiny. Full screen is something I recommend you use, but if Minecraft doesn't run great when you enable full screen, just turn it off. Now the mid-map levels, I would suggest not even touching that setting. The distortion effects, it's just like in any other game. If you turn the effects all the way down to off or zero or minimal, that's when you get the most FPS. And it also goes for the glint speed, although it doesn't really affect your performance. It's just the glint that you see on enchanted items and how fast that glint is animated. And now the setting that has probably the biggest impact on performance, the render distance. This setting is actually pretty straightforward. The more chunks you set it to, the more chunks Minecraft has to render in front of you, which means a bigger performance impact. So I recommend setting this to something around four and the same goes for the simulation distance. The further you set this to, the more chunks have to be simulated, what entities are doing, what crops are growing over there. So if you set this to the minimum value, which is five chunks, you're gonna get the best performance. Now the frame rate, we already set that one to unlimited. View bobbing is very simple. It's just the walk-in animation that you have in Minecraft. It doesn't really have a huge performance impact, but if you can disable it, just do so. The attack indicator really doesn't affect your performance. It is just up to you to select where it appears. Now, of course, clouds are something that have to be rendered, especially if you set them to fancy so fast is already a better option, but I would suggest just disabling this altogether. Now for particles, you may think, 
why can't I turn this setting off? Why is there no off setting? It just doesn't work like that. Decreased is already a better setting, but minimal is the best setting that you can set it to. Now entity shadows, of course shadows, just like with any other game, have to be rendered. So if you disable them, you gain maybe one or two FPS. Entity distance is the distance at which entities have to be rendered in the distance. And if you set this to a low value, not that many entities have to be rendered in the background. So that is a big advantage and will gain you a lot of performance. The autosave indicator really doesn't do anything. It appears once every, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. So it really isn't going to boost your performance if you disable this. So I recommend you just leave that enabled. You can of course disable it if you really want to make sure everything is set to the minimal value. And for glint strength, the final setting, just turn that off as well. And now all there's left to do is join a Minecraft world, join your favorite server, and check out your new, hopefully much smoother experience. So once you've got these video settings, you got Sodium installed, and you allocated more RAM to Minecraft, you should see a jump in performance. Now, of course, I'm really curious how big of a jump you were able to make using these tips. So let me know down below in the comments how many FPS you had before, and then also let me know how many FPS you have after watching this video. All right, that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. And then as always, I will of course, Catch you in the next video. See ya.